We smuggled our leader to Cameroon for COVID-19 treatments, Biafran Group said. Biafran Nation Youth League, BNYL, has revealed that its national leader, Prince Will Chimeze Richard, who recovered from the COVID-19 disease, was smuggled into Cameroon, where he received treatments. The group, which yesterday boasted that it has access to Cameroon, despite President Mohamed Buhari's lockdown order, said its leader was not treated in a Nigerian hospital. BNYL later announced that its national leader has recovered from the dreaded ailments. The group, through its chief press secretary, Richard Dian Bassi Odung, said that Prince Will was handled by medical experts in the English-speaking region of Cameroon, where it was moved to. It said it was in a panic that the Nigerian government could manhandle its leader, knowing that he is a Biafran separatist. When he complained of fever and headache, and at the same time coughing, we quickly understood it was a symptom of the virus. It was a very terrible situation, knowing that there was a lockdown. We were afraid that the federal government would take advantage of his health. At that period, he was in Cross River. So those that moved him used ashes all over their hands to avoid being infected. We passed through the creeks of Bakasi on a speedboat and smuggled him to the Indian Division in southwest Cameroon, where he was tested and the results came out to be positive. We give glory to God that medical experts in the Anglophone region took very care of him. He eats more vegetable soup while in isolation. Thank you for listening to this news. Good job, IPOP. Good job, your friends. This is a very good move made by you to your own brothers. This is what makes you to be a Biafran. I do say it that Biafrans are always by each other's back. And that's what makes you to be an Igbo. The Igbos are always known to be this kind of people, always standing behind for his brothers. The Igbos are people that we ne- that we never see their brother going down and turn their back on him. They will always stand by him no matter what. They will stand by their brother, especially in time of difficulties. They will stand by him and give him all this necessary support that he wants. An evil man will hardly see his brother going down and refuse and 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 say no to giving him a helping hand the Igbos are and are always known to be a helper especially to their own brothers they love one another and that is what freaks me the most and that is the main reason why i believe in this their republic I may not be an ego, but I understand their system. I know them better than my own people. The Igbos are well understanding and loving, and that is why the other regions appreciate their presence and all that they do. The Igbos are people that you love to be around with. 
you love to do things with. They are very understanding and caring. No wonder everybody wants to trade with them. No environment you go that you will not find an Igbo man. Any environment you go and there, there is no Igbo man in that environment, you will see that that environment will not will not um will not be, uh, be be of any use at all there will be nothing sweet happening in that environment the egos are special people they have something that is so lucrative and enticing and that is why I appreciate them a lot, especially in what they do. So, I will say a very big kudos to the Biafrans for their positive moves to see to the quick recovery of their leader. is quite commendable and quite appreciated. This is what the leader Mazin and the Kano has left behind and what he has taught the people of Biafran to do to be their own brother's keeper. I know that the leader Mazin and the Kano, wherever he is, will be very grateful and very happy with these positive moves. Unlike the country Nigeria, yes, permit me to make reference to the country because I know that our country Nigeria is a country that is so selfish and only knows its own belly. I'm talking about the leaders. They only know themselves, but they don't know the masses and they don't even want to know about the masses and what they do they don't even want to understand the existence of the masses and what is really paining me much about them is that the mass these same masses are the people that place them where they are today without the masses they are nowhere to be found. Tell me, why forgetting the masses? Why ignoring the masses? Why putting the masses aside? Have you seen Nigerians? Why will you always want to be like in a, be, be, be in Nigeria? Can't you behave? Can't you be behave outside in Nigeria? Believe you me, I may be a Nigerian, but I don't enjoy the system or the attitude of, of, of Nigerians. And that's the main reason why I see today nobody is all is, is comfortable with what is being done here in Nigeria and we are taken as one of the untrusted untrusted country I don't know many things have happened yet we have refused to learn our lessons Mazenam the Kano, as a leader, has done so much for Nigeria, yet we don't appreciate him. Instead, all we do is to castigate him and come up with one hypocrite hypocrisy 
hypocrisy uh, statements ab about him. Well, it's not even after your 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 praises because he has a lot of praises and a lot of people to give him praise because he is a positive person in the world. So my viewers, your comments are also of great importance. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.